th this is what a lot of people are uncomfortable with. You, it can only be done through a federation member. You cannot do it in a software way that I've shown you with a node and write peg out as a command. You can't do that. Maybe one day they've said they really um, we'll, we'll see. But for now, it's you have to go to a federation member. And here's the conversation. I asked myself the question like this was March 5, 2019. I asked myself the question I asked to InstaGibbs, which is the link. Alex and I'm back jumping the conversation, CEO of Blockstream. And basically what they say is, first of all, you can do an atomic swap or a cross-chain LN swap between users, right? So you wouldn't have to do it with federation members. You could just swap it with other users, right? And you can do it in a trustless way through atomic swaps. Atomic swap is either the transaction happens for both or it doesn't happen for anyone. And then he said longer term, he'd like to make it optional so that you could uh, make a peg out through the software but it's couple it's it's a little bit complicated under the security model and, and at first i didn't understand what they meant by the security model and so adam back answered and that's what cleared my question about it which is uh the he says specifically the peg out is restricted to being one of the participants cold wallet addresses for extra security, which is enforced by hardware models in the functionary servers. It's proved via a ring six so the functionaries don't learn which participant exchanges is picking up. I had a hard time understanding what he meant there because Adam Back talks in a very complicated way, very technical, but I, I understand it now so I can uh, resume it for, for, for you guys. So. Uh, what he means is that all the federation members that are signing the blocks and but also the feather actually the federation members that are making moving the bitcoins from the multi-signature wallet to uh, the two people pegging out so in this case federation members they're doing it through hardware security models which are server like uh, hardware wallets and inside they've programmed the hardware models so that the hardware model can only send address bitcoins to this this list of address if another address if let's say it gets hacked or someone requests to get sent bitcoin to another address it wouldn't ever work unless you reprogram it, it physically and this means that if a hacker gets into the, the the liquid servers and tries to empty out the bitcoin wallet they could hack it, but they couldn't, well, good luck, first of all, but they couldn't get the funds to themselves. It would only be, the, the, the machine is programmed to only be able to send transactions to the federation members, right? This is a security step. And what he means by it's proven by ring sig means that whenever a, uh, someone is pegging out, the federation member is pegging out and they're receiving the funds from the, let's say one of the, the, the key managers of the multi-signature wallet, well, the, when the key manager is signing a transaction, they're not seeing to who exactly they're sending to. They're sending it to one out of these many addresses. And that's what a ring signature is. So it's, oh, I'm sending it. Uh, he's thinking the, the HSM is like, I'm sending it to either one uh, or all the other members, but I know it's one of them. And I know it. There's the cryptography makes sense. Uh, that's how I can explain in the simplest way. And that's what Monero uses, ring signatures, by the way, for their privacy. So you can use their services. Uh, and there's some pretty good services out there. So you can use Bull Bitcoin. And Bull Bitcoin, you can go on, uh, whenever you go on Buy Bitcoin, you can uh, uh, you can toggle this with liquid LBTC. So that's another way to get LBTC as well. But you can also just go on um, Liquid CAD and get some liquid CAD here, but you can also do uh, deposit BTC for LCAD, deposit LCAD. Um, and so you can do a, a couple of things on, on bull Bitcoin re regarding the regarding the, the liquid CAD uh, and liquid uh, bull Bitcoin thing. There's all the, obviously other features on bull Bitcoin. Uh, so, so you see how it works, right? And with side shift, you can do the, the same thing. You can go from Bitcoin to Bitcoin liquid. You can do the other way around. Uh, so 
is if many of you guys have probably used shapeshift which is uh, one of the most popular sh shifting services that we as we call them which means swapping one asset towards another in a simple transaction so an exchange that is just by transaction but not by account so you just put your liquid address here you can open this on a vpn on a tor browser for extra privacy uh so this is how how to do it and there's also another service called liquidity um liquidity also allows for this i see service fee zero percent uh this is a nice uh, nice to have a service so this is uh, how you peg out obviously you can do it through bitfinex and other exchanges that are more but those require an account and, and, and extra things like that so